Puzzle explorers find inspiration in odd places, like making cookies. Can you spell things out using only geometric cookie cutters? Let's find out. Welcome to the crew. <laughs> Welcome to the workshop. My name is Cyrus Chedderton. If this is your first time here, the workshop is a place for exploring puzzles, trivia, and all manner of cryptic curiosities. You might even choose to become a member. Today's puzzle actually came about as I was making a batch of cookies. If you're making sugar cookies, you can use circular ring cutters to get that even rounded shape. And I realized that you could also cut cookies into a donut shape if you wanted to by cutting out a second, smaller circle from the middle. That's where things got more intriguing. My friend Blueberry Raccoon will help to demonstrate what I mean. Blueberry has some cookie dough already rolled out there so that we can show you how this works. You first use a metal ring cutter to create the circular shape from the sheet of dough. We'll pull that circle out and use it. Using a smaller circle cutter allows us to remove the inner hole, which leaves us with a donut shape. And even though this is a cookie, not a donut, just go along with it for the moment. The important thing to note is that when you start with a circle and then use a different size of circle, you create an O shape. It ends up looking like the letter. If you continue and make a second cut to open one side of it, then you convert that O into a C. Sure, it's not typographically perfect, but it is pretty close, and the letter form is absolutely clear. You, you get it. What if you started with something other than a circle? Let's suppose that you could have other simple cutter shapes, but all the cuts you make are different sizes of that original shape. After all, we cut the inside out of the O using a smaller circle when we also started with a circle, if you see what I mean. Let's also assume that you can rotate the dough or the cutters. This is not an issue for circles, but if you imagine using a square, then being able to turn and angle things could become very useful. You can create a paw full of different letters of the alphabet this way. Not all of them, though. You cannot make a Q, for example, using circle cutters because of the tail part of the letter. So what letters can you make? You can make this. This spells out an animal. Maybe you see it? Break out the cookie cutters. Remember that your cutter is the same shape as each of these starting pieces of dough here, but size and rotation can change. Got it? When you've found the answer, share it in the comments section. We always do that around here to celebrate having solved a puzzle. Be sure to press the like button if you had fun with this, and share the video with a friend. Many thanks. That about wraps it up for today. Until next time, friends, go enjoy some tasty cookies and have fun exploring out there. <laughs>